Okay, I'm obviously out here at the field, walking up the hill. The rain last night really beat the hell out of our road. Uh, needs some serious grading again, so I guess the zero turn and our makeshift grader is going to get one hell of a workout today. You can see... I mean, there's no rock here at all. I, I don't know where that went. All this over here, it's, it's, I don't know. I don't know how it happens. The ditch that I've made at the top of the road takes care of what comes, tries to come down the old way. But now there's a couple of other places, I guess, that need a backhoe to work on this a little bit. But look at this. Right down the middle. This was all smooth yesterday. Now we got, oh God, there's a five or six inch rut here. And it's like a cavern. And that's all come from right over there. There's rip rap through there. That water has come out right in there somewhere and down here because there's no damage in this area. So all this water has come, run right down the middle, and then I think way down at the end, I think way down about right there, that's where more water comes out of this rip rap, rip rap, and that's what's caused that second real big place, right on the turn itself. So you got that one, you got the water here, it's come from right in here somewhere. So, I don't know how. I don't know. I don't know how, I, you can't, I don't think if ditch can be made, dug here to make the water go over there. It's too much of a downhill slope. So, I don't know what we do. The only thing I can do is run the zero turn back and forth and try to get you know fill that up but on up the hill so you can see over here all the water all the water ran across the road went into this ditch as opposed to coming down here went into the ditch and out and out into the field and you can see all the rock that it has washed from way up there somewhere. Look at this pile of rock that's right here. I mean, you need to need a backhoe to reach in there and grab a big bunch of that and put it out here in these holes. And then here's, I created another little ditch right here, which takes some of the water down. And it actually runs right through here. And see, there's more gravel, more rock right back there. That needs, somehow needs to be picked up and put over here, but I can't get it. Somebody in the club has got a tractor with a little backhoe on it. Can help out, that would sure be good. But look at this ditch all the way along here. Here's erosion right here. Water, I guess it didn't get in the ditch. Went through here, finally it dissipated. Then here's one hell of a, there's still water running down, even though it quit raining hours ago. Still a little water trickling through here. All this. Here's a big, you know, when I drove, when I drove up here, kathump, kathump, as it goes over this ditch here. And all that water has come from up in this area here. And going right on down. So, I don't know. And then, of course, you got... Look, water has run across the road, I guess. There's actually some deterioration right there in front of my car. And all that water has accumulated here. Some of it probably went that way. But a lot of it came right down through here. And it's caused the erosion right along here. So, whenever we have a four-inch rain... This shit's gonna happen. And I don't know 
there's no doesn't seem to be any way to correct it we have a regular just a moderate rain there's no problems yeah look at all these ruts here that water they seeped across the road even though even though the ditch is still there that I used where I used Dave McDonnelly's tractor and went through. I, the only thing I can think of is I guess the grass and roots have built up and kind of clogged up that little ditch. So water now is going back across the road as opposed to going down the ditch and out the other end. Okay, I'm going to shut the video off. Hotter than hoot blue. Hotter than hazy. Hotter than 80s yesterday. 90 degrees, the wind was blowing. Right now, I think it's probably 60 degrees. The wind's still blowing. See the wind sock way in the distance there, maybe. If I zoom in, you can see it sticking out probably from that posting Rob put on uh, Facebook. Yeah, I guess it looks like about 14, 14 14 miles an hour. Okay, that's it. I'll post the video and I'll post the YouTube and send everybody in the club a link. Maybe somebody will pick it up.